Okay, my name is James Williams Jr. This is Comfort Graphic number two. This is going to be my last video. Again, unless something important comes up, and this probably won't take but three minutes. So I was watching Nightly News with Lester Holt, and they started talking about these um, people who are stealing packages off of people's porches. They call them porch pirates or whatever. How bad off are you that you want to make someone else's life so miserable by stealing gifts and shit from people's children or from people in general or why are you doing this when you know these people work hard to pay for their stuff a person may not be able to buy their kid more than one drone so they buy one for the whole house or everyone to share and if you're stealing stuff off of people's porches how bad off are you why don't you get a fucking job I know that job hunting sucks. I know that getting a job is hard and it sucks. And not everybody's going to look at me and say, hey, we're going to hire this guy even though he's five foot three. He has military discipline, but that's pretty much where it ends. And maybe they don't want to give me a job because of the color of my skin. I go through this every damn day. But I never stop. So why are you porch pirates doing this? Don't you have any decency? Did your mothers not raise you properly? Do you guys need to join the military? Because they're always hiring. You just got to pass the physical and not be a criminal and, you know, not cheat on your ASVAB test and you should be fine. But it is a damn shame when we as society, as human beings, do everything we can to hurt our fellow human beings. Not just because of race, but because of things like a simple package on a porch that does not belong to you. And you all of a sudden think that you have the balls of Jesus and go steal them. Well, Jesus was accused of being a thief, and he wasn't. Jesus was crucified for over 17 crimes that he did not even commit. He was denied by some of his disciples. And I wish that God would do like he did in biblical times. And when you do wrong, he would just throw down lightning bolts and strike people fucking dead. Or fiery hands out of the sky would point you out so that everyone would know who you were. And he would mark you like he did Abel or Cain, whichever one killed the other. With the, the mark that whoever kills him will get paid over 10,000 fold and it would keep going on and on and on. Because then there would be some kind of law, justice, and we would all have something to believe in because we'd all be scared the shit out of us to make sure that we didn't do the wrong thing. Now, where is these porch pirates' moral compass? If people are getting packages delivered to them, it's probably coming from their parents or they're paying for it for their child. They may have a special needs child that doesn't get to go outside and play with everyone else. So we bought him a drone so he could play on the porch and just fly around and enjoy his fucking day. Or we bought him something that he could use that's in that box that you're stealing. Why make someone else's life miserable? I guess because somewhere in the human factor, we... Homo sapiens have decided that some of us are better than others when we all bleed red and have to breathe air to bleed. And it, it sucks that people would go around and doing this stuff. Now, if you're an X-Man fan, then you're going to understand exactly what the hell I'm about to say. Because I'm beginning to believe that Homo superiors do exist. I'm fixing to become one. Now, there's Homo sapiens, and then there's Homo superiors. I'm fixing to become a homo superior and be better than everyone else. No. And FYI, I strongly believe that magical creatures and fairies and stuff probably did exist or do exist on some realm or another. We just haven't been able to break the veil. But if you're a push pirate, I hope you get what's coming to you. And there was one guy a few months back that um, put reprocessed dog poop and food. He put dog shit in a box. And people would get surprises when they got home. We should probably all go to doing that. We have plenty of dog poop around here in our backyard because we have dogs that people own but don't ever take care of. That's up to me. And I didn't ask for dogs. I wanted a snake. Anyway, I'm James Williams Jr. Putch Pirates, shame on you. Be seeing you.